I spoke in my last vlog about um, the benefits of water and the formula that I tend to use for working out how much uh, water would be ideal per person. What I also wanted to talk about uh, is the fact that we, we, we're not always absorbing the water that we take into the body. There is, uh, as we age, we become less efficient at pulling water into the cells. And this is something we need to be very aware of. In order to get more water into the cells, you need to improve the electrical charge across that cell or across the cell membrane. And the measurement of functionality of the cell membrane is called um, the phase angle. So phase angle can be improved and there are things that you can do to, uh, to increase it. Adding more fiber to the diet will help to slow down the, the journey of, of food through the, through the gut and so the body would be better able to pull water out of it. The other thing is that fruits and veg bring in silica and silica is good for gut health and also for cell hydration. Watching exposure to electromagnetic radiation, so things like your cell phone, um, cell phone towers, antenna, information carrying waves. Turn your Wi-Fi off overnight, keep your phone on flight mode when you don't need it. Uh, increasing electrolytes in the diet and then also including something called terahydrate um, humic compounds um, and that comes from decayed plants so uh, you could do a little bit of research around you know how to buy those products i'm guessing health stores or uh, you know online health shops would have such a thing and you could add those to the diet and those will improve that phase angle so obviously in turn improving health that gives you a little bit to work on uh, this week or in this post from this post and uh, join me for the next one and we'll discuss things like what tap water contains and how we can clean that uh, and improve uh, what it is we're taking in on a regular basis. Um, so until next time.